All right, we're almost in the home stretch. You know, I want to start off by just affirming our mission. You've heard a lot about it today, power and prosperity around the world. That certainly is something we're committed to in the consumer group. It's actually a source of inspiration for us. And the way that translates for us is our ambition to go after a big problem in America. Our ambition is to deliver financial freedom for all of our consumers. Now, when I say financial freedom, we're talking about freedom from worry, worrying about whether or not you maximize your refund, whether or not you've minimized your liabilities. If you worry about how much money is in your pocket, can you pay your bills on time? Are you getting the best rates? Are you going to qualify for a loan? These worries just weigh on our customers. And the closer we get to our customers, the closer we understand the opportunity we have to make a difference in their lives. So financial freedom for all consumers is the way that we are going to contribute to our mission of powering prosperity around the world. Now, when we think about this mission, we can't do it alone. This isn't about the consumer group or TurboTax trying to solve this big problem. We need to leverage our brothers and sisters across our ecosystem. We need to leverage the ecosystem and our capabilities, and together, we believe we can make meaningful progress. Now, one of the most enabling aspects of our, our ecosystem has to do with our, the number of relationships we enjoy. When we think about the relationships within the ecosystem, we have over 25 million registered users of Mint and Turbo. 50, over 50 million unique filers in TurboTax. Through our QuickBooks platform, over 10 million consumers receive payroll. We have a network of professionals, tax experts, that serve over 30 million customers in the assisted tax space. And then perhaps the biggest relationship we have is with financial institutions. Over 20,000 fi financial institutions that cover over 95% of the consumer market. Those relationships translated into a digital world means data. And as you heard earlier, we are the stewards of our customers' data. So if you take our mission, our capabilities across our ecosystem, the relationships we have, and the data that we're entrusted with, we can make big things happen. And that's our focus. The way that we expressed it over the last couple of years is that we're on a journey to deliver financial freedom. And this is the roadmap. It starts with DIY tax. Extending our lead in DIY tax. That means winning in DIY tax, growing share, and continuing to delight customers. And we're going to do that by improving our experience. We still have many of opportunities to improve our experience in tax, but also to bring more innovation to the market. Beyond winning in DIY tax, you know that we've made it a significant bet with respect to our ability to bring our technology, our capabilities, the data that we have, and put that in service of our customers, and connect customers who are seeking experts to experts who are, who are seeking to help customers. TurboTax Live is a massive innovation. It's a two-sided platform, and in, in, in the heart of it is a better way to do your taxes. So we believe that that is going to be a way for us to penetrate that 84 million um, market, 84 million filers, and $20 billion of TAM. So beyond that, what I would say is that we have a third part of our strategy that we announced a year ago that's actually out there in market right now. Now, as we think, historically, we've thought of our landscape being consumer tax. The reality of it is, is that we've also entered into a new category, a new industry, the world of consumer finance. And within that world, we have the aspiration and the ambition to create a platform, a consumer finance platform that connects customers to financial partners and institutions in service of the joint desire to get access to more money at better rates. So our approach is not to think like an application, but to think like a platform. And when we do this, one of the things that we've learned is that by being a platform business in consumer finance, it gives rise to a different kind of monetization model. We've been monetizing directly for years 
What this enables us to do is to move to indirect monetization, a beyond user paid model, where partners are willing to pay for leads and converted customers at a significant rate. And I'll talk more about that in a little bit. The last part of our strategy has to do with financial identity. Now, financial identity in our context means it's a big problem. Consumers have their financial data spread out in many places. We see an opportunity to bring that together, organize it, make sure that it's verified and validated. Bring that data together, link it to a consumer profile that reflects not just their TurboTax data or Turbo data, but data that exists within our ecosystem and outside of our ecosystem. When you bring that together, store it securely and with their consent in very specific use cases, make that data portable. With the financial identity, making that data portable will unlock benefits like pre-qualification for loans. You know, across America, 76% of consumers actually get declined when applying for a loan. 76% of, lo of consumers get declined rather than being accepted. One of the reasons is getting all the data, it takes a lot of work, a lot of effort, and prone to a lot of mistakes and incompleteness. Financial identity is focused on solving that problem. And that problem just doesn't exist in the US. The opportunities that we described across the four legs of our roadmap exist globally. We're working in Canada and India to win here in the market, but also to start to prepare our platform, our technology, and starting to run experiments to figure out market fit beyond the, beyond the US. So we're pretty excited about the roadmap. And if we follow this over the next five to 10 years, we'll realize a significant progress in our ambition to address the financial dreams of America. Now let me talk about our tax business first. So our tax business, um, this is a, a view of the last 10 years. It's a total industry landscape. Now the good news is you look at this chart is that TurboTax is doing pretty well relative to others. Now what's driven that success is our maniacal focus on our customers in winning share in our DIY market. And that focus, that focus has served us well over the years. However, when you look at this market, there's something else that we see is the biggest part of the market is this assisted market. This is an assisted space that hasn't changed tremendously. And the reason that is, is the customers that are in there are desiring access to experts. They need help, they need assistance, and we think that's an opportunity that although we've experimented around over the years, we haven't gone after in earnest. We are now, we launched a platform that we'll talk about later, TurboTax Live, and that, that actually is focused on us changing our perspective. Not only do we want to win share in DIY and extend our lead, but our ambition is to grow share across the total tax industry. Now this upcoming year is gonna be interesting. It's gonna be fun actually. We have um, tax reform. Tax reform is significant changes to the 1040 forms. Now what that means is it's gonna impact virtually every single tax filer in America in some way and somehow. Now the good news about that is that that, that, that change is positive. For one thing, the ambition of a lot of the changes are to, to simplify our tax code. And we have long been a proponent of that. By increasing the standard deduction in, and increasing those eligible for the standard deduction, what you'll have is massive simplification for customers. And we know in this business that simplification leads to DIY category growth. As a matter of fact, TurboTax is baked on, based on that premise. If we can remove the work, remove the complexity from doing your taxes, remove the friction, the category will grow. So we think simplification is a tailwind, if you will, for us and the DIY category as a whole. The other, the other aspect of tax reform, though, is that it's going to create a lot of confusion. People are going to try to figure out, consumers and our filers are going to try to figure out, what does it mean to me? With my forms gone away now, what form do I file? What do I qualify for? There are going to be a lot of questions. There's going to be confusion. And what we do know is that when consumers are confused, they tend to gravitate towards people they trust 
in brands that they trust. So from our perspective in this environment, TurboTax is well positioned as a leadership brand to take advantage of that as well. The third dynamic that we expect to happen as a result of tax reform has to do with the amount of uncertainty around things like your refund. Is my refund going to be smaller? Is it going to be bigger? That is a core question on the minds of every one of our filers. Because at the end of the day, their tax return is their biggest pay paycheck of their year. Now, when it comes to uncertainty and with such high stakes, people have questions and they want help and assistance. We have 433 million interactions last year in our DIY product with our help system. That's consumers trying to figure out, trying to learn and educate themselves in how to navigate the tax experience. That's a lot of demand. We expect that to go up. The good news is we have a world-class, best-in-class self-help system that has 433 million interactions and learns from each interaction. And as a result, we're able to personalize our answers, personalize the advice that we give in the self-help product. The other part that we've done is with TurboTax Live is for those customers that aren't satisfied with that answer, we've created many access points in the product for them to on-demand access an expert through, T through TurboTax Live. So the combination of a world-class self-help platform that's AI and ML driven and the innovation associated with our TurboTax Live, we believe we're well positioned to capitalize on the uncertainty that's going to exist in the category. Now, one thing I would tell you is that um, we know that there's going to be risks. You all know that there's going to be some risks, and those risks show up in the form of trade down. These are customers that are able to trade down, willing to trade down, because they can. They're value seekers, right? So with, with, the, with the expansion of the standard deduction, that's going to create an opportunity for customers to file for free, even in our product. That trade down risk is something that we're very aware of, we have our eyes on, and the fact that we're aware of it allows us to experiment, it allows us to get cluster, closer to customers and find out strategies around how we're going to address that. The, our, our, key, our key approach is going to be to deliver benefits to our customers that don't cause them to trade down for price, but rather inspire them to trade up for benefits and value. You know, I used to work at Gillette, and we were famous for the trade-up model, right? The Mach 3, the, the Fusion, the Five Blades. The reality of across this industry, and this, and, uh, certainly across America, this tendency to trade up to more aspirational products defines many categories. As a matter of fact, it defines um, the assisted category. There are over 30 million simple filers today that go to a pro and pay over $200 in order to get the return filed when they can do it for free, and probably in minutes. So why is that? They're willing to trade up, and they value the expertise, and they value the security and the comfort and the confidence they get when they connect with an expert. So for all those reasons, we also think tax reform is going to provide some trade down risk for price sensitive customers. But more likely, it will create trade up opportunities for those aspirational filers seeking more benefits um, within the new context. Now let me just tra um, quickly go to our, our consumer funnel. I'm going to talk a little bit about our customer growth specifically. Now this is in the US. This is our acquisition funnel we've referred to um, a couple of times so far today. There's 152 million filers in, in um, FY18 in the US. 95 million of those visit our website. And that is, in the context of tax reform, we do see that as an opportunity for us to continue to expand the top of our funnel. But beyond that, of that 95 million, currently 63 million consider DIY. Now, we see that as an opportunity as well. Is we, if we can bring more innovation to market and make our products more accessible, we will drive more consideration of the category. Now, of that 63 million, only 43 million go on to start. Our first use experience needs to get better. Customers that visit us with the intent and interest in DIY who leave us and never log in is a massive opportunity. 
Of the 43 million that log in, only 30 million go on to file. We lose 13 million along the way. Because of friction, fear, uncertainty and doubt, breakdown in confidence, we can do better. The good news is over the last year, by virtue of the innovations in our core product and bringing TT Live to market, you'll see that we reversed the trend in our um, attrition. Our, retention ra our retentions rates are up 200 basis points. And that's our plan. We know we can work this funnel, grow our business even more aggressively if we, in fact, harness all of our capabilities and attack all aspects of the funnel. So that's our plan on the customer side. On the revenue side, the industry, the consumer tax industry is $21 billion. And as you know right now, we have 27% of share of returns, but only 11% share of the revenue. And that exists because we've been fishing and living within the context of DIY. With TurboTax Live, we're gonna go into the other part of the industry, that, 20 billion, that $19 billion of TAM. Now the currency in that part of the industry, industry is expertise. It's access to experts, that's what defines the category. TurboTax Live is our opportunity to go through and transform that marketplace. You know, each year about 10 and a half million customers churn within that marketplace. And they churn because they're looking for more convenience, they're looking for lower price and better outcomes. TurboTax Live is positioned for us to try to solve some big problems in that space. When you look at our average price per return and how we've grown that over the last two years, we've done that by innovating at the high end. The year before last, it was self-employed and it continues to be an accelerated an accelerant to our growth. That's driven our average revenue per return up and now with TurboTax Live, we see that accelerate. So when we think about the, and, and even then, when you compare that to the average price per return in the um, assisted market, we are still at a value relative to the other alternatives. So our strategy is gonna be this. We wanna win by delivering a superior value equation. Better benefits, better experiences at a lower price. That combination, we think, will allow us to start to penetrate the, um, the overall assisted market. So we are focused on growing total revenue or total share as well as total revenue share of the category. So over the last two years, we've communicated a lot of change. Right? We've talked about a new strategy, a new roadmap. We've launched TurboTax Live. We've launched Turbo. Now we're talking about financial identity. There's a lot of change going on as we transform. As we look back to this last year, and this is our scorecard. And these are the things that we had promised a year ago, that we would extend our lead in DIY. And I'm proud to say that we did expand the DIY category, that we did grow share within the category. And by the way, we increased our retention. We talked about the notion of transforming the assisted category with products like TT Live. Well, we launched and scaled a virtual workforce platform last year. We launched TT Live, and ultimately we delighted customers and pros. You know, we talked about moving beyond tax in the world of consumer finance, a whole new industry for us. So not only do we have Mint, but we also have Turbo, and we built a platform, a platform that connects consumers to partners for the shared goal of getting access to more money. And in our first year of launching Turbo, we, got five, we had five million registered users in our first four months in the market. So finally, that all yielded pretty outstanding results. We were pretty excited about. And you can see those there, the revenue, the operating income growth, and importantly, the customer share growth. I will tell you, we take pride in our ability to execute. We take pride in our ability to declare something and deliver against it. That's the key to our success. And that's what we're gonna focus on going forward. One example, so I'm gonna go through just a quick example across our roadmap of what's ahead for us. So when it comes to extending our, our lead in DIY, the, rea the reality is after over 30 years, the simplest of filers, their experience isn't that simple still. We have opportunities to continue to innovate. The opportunity is represented in the funnel. When we talked about the 63 million customers that are interested, but only 43 million that log in and only 30 million that file. 
13 million start with us and they leave sometime in the process because of friction. Fear, uncertainty, and doubt, the work it takes, they, they just, um, they abandon, we call them abandoners. That is a massive opportunity. A few proof points for you. If you're the simplest of filers, it takes over 500 fields and interactions for you to complete your return. 500 fields and interactions for you to complete your return if you're the simplest of filers. We can do better than that. If you look at the data that we have, and you look at our ability to create AI and ML models that take advantage of that, we can start to pre-fill, we can eliminate unnecessary questions, we can eliminate duplicative questions, and we can reduce that experience significantly. And that's what we're gonna do. And, we're gonna, and 200 is just representing the starting point. We can go further than that. Our vision for taxes are done still inspires us, and we're going after that. The other thing though, it's not just about removing screens. The real issues are lack of confidence. They leave along the way, not because of the number of screens, it's because they have, help, they, they have questions that they don't get sufficient answers to. One thing we focused on this past year that paid dividends for us, that we're now accelerating, is our ability to deliver highly personalized answers. Not generic answers to a question, but answers that are specifically related to you and your experience. This past year, that was 30% 30, 30 of our answers, and we expect to grow that significantly as we go forward. So in, in summary, how are we gonna win in DIY? The reality of it is, our experience isn't that simple, but we're gonna make huge strides to make it simpler this next year and more confidence inspiring. So let me talk a little bit about transforming the assisted category. 84 million filers go to assisted because they're seeking some kind of assistance. They spend over $20 billion of their hard earned money to get that assistance. 10, 10 million or so churn each year because they're not satisfied with their expert and they go on to look for another expert. That's an opportunity for us to address. TurboTax Live is inspired by the reality that consumers are seeking experts to help them file taxes. And experts that file taxes are continuing to try to grow their practices and looking for customers. That is a network that we can, that's a, plat, it's a network, and we have a virtual workforce platform built and scaled to take advantage of this dynamic. This last year with TurboTax Live, a few results and proof points just to demonstrate that we're on the right path. The first thing is if you filed in TurboTax Live versus TurboTax, TurboTax Live, you had 19 points in, um, increase in confidence and a PRS score of 63. And I will tell you, when we put that product out in the market this last year, we muscled it into the market. Muscled meaning it wasn't optimized um, on, the, on the consumer experience nor the pro experience. But even despite that, we were able to get in the market and we delivered more confidence as well as delight. The other thing is around um, that, that we observed, one of those cohorts that historically um, converted at a very low rate are first time filers, new filers. New filers that actually came on our platform and interact with an expert had a 23 point increase in conversion. And as you know, we said earlier, one of the big opportunities in our funnel is around conversion. TurboTax lies poised to help do that. Now winning in TurboTax Live is not just about winning on the consumer side. We also, we also need to win on the pro side. On the pro side, what we figured out is how to deliver experience and continue to iterate. So at second peak, as soon as the second peak ended, we surveyed our pros. And fully 95% of our pros signal and stated their intent to come back and work on the platform. That's significant pro retention. That's gonna advantage us as we continue to build our platform this year. It will give us a very fast start. The other thing that I would share with you as a proof point, we, we take product recommendation scores, almost like a net promoter um, of our pros at first peak, and we did it again at second peak. And what we saw is a 50% increase in our PRS scores. What that means to us is that what we launched was not very good. And by the time we got to second peak, we made it appreciably better. Now I will tell you that since then, we've been working hard on that platform, making our tools more accessible, 
eliminated waste in time and effort so our pros can spend more time working with customers rather than trying to figure out our systems. So there's opportunities for us to continue on the pro side and on the consumer side. One thing that we noticed is that we really didn't understand our core target when we launched TurboTax Live um, initially. One of the big um, surprises for us is that on this platform, those most interested, many of them are simple filers. There are many of the 30 million simple filers that today pay a lot of money to go to a pro, but we've discovered they're interested in TurboTax Live. And so when you think about that dynamic, last year we did not have TurboTax Live accessible for free customers. In other words, there was no on-ramp for free customers, there were no on-ramp for simple customers, and we didn't have a mobile offering. And 50% of our 50% of our customer base use mobile device at some point in time when filing their fax return, tax return. So fundamentally, there's a massive opportunity. We feel really good where we are, and um, we're pretty excited about where we're heading. Now, the last part of the strategy I'll talk about today has to do with us moving from beyond just consumer tax, but to the world of consumer finance. Probably the way that I think about it, the way that we think about it, is consumer finance needs to be personalized. We need to move from consumer finance to personal finance. And if we can figure out how to personalize our experiences, we think that we can make a significant progress in delivering the benefit that they seek most, which is access to more money. The opportunity, we have 50 million tax relationships today. Those are unique filers in our products that we can move beyond just getting them the biggest refund check but we also can go beyond that and help them with their financial lives. We have 25 million registered users of both Mint and Turbo in growing. Those 25 million users have already demonstrated interest in getting to better financial outcomes or interest in having a better financial life. We just need to help them. We can do that. We can do that in a number of ways. The first thing that's most important, they need to indicate that they have interest in our helping them. And we do that through getting consent to use their data. The way that we can help is put their data to work for them. This past year, we had 20 million users who gave us consent to leverage their data in pursuit of very unique use cases. Things like personal loans, auto loans, credit card applications, mortgage applications. Those use cases are some of those um, signals of demand for a better way of approaching consumer finance and make it more personal. Now I'll give you two big stats that just blew us away that we never would have predicted this past year. When we talk to customers and we ask for their consent to use data in order to pre-qualify for a loan, we had a 95% conversion rate, 95% consent rate. That is 95% of the customers said yes, Please use my most valued data in order to pre-qualify. Now, the other part of the story isn't just about that promise, did we deliver? What we found is the conversion rate was 9x. Whenever we used the data to pre-qualify, they converted at a 9x rate versus just a static offer. That tells us that not only is it promise made, but it's promise delivered, and we see massive opportunities. And a very different use case than pre-qualification. And by the way, you remember I told you the big problem was 76% of people that apply for a loan get denied. That pre-qualification is a massive consumer benefit. The second area has to do with the ability to pre-fill applications. The reality is if you go through and if you filed a mortgage, if, if you applied for a mortgage recently, um, you know that there are hundreds and hundreds of fields that need to get done, pages of work. What we promise here is that if we can harness your data, and actually pre-fill the application, remove some of the friction, some of the work, and reduce the amount of effort. What consumers told us, 96.5% of them said, yes, sign me up. Leverage the data in order to pre-fill the applications and give me a jump start. Now that wasn't quite as surprising because that's what we use in TurboTax. We've already learned that data can help you remove work and friction, and that benefit of no work is very core to the way that we'll maintain our superiority in the marketplace. And those that actually used the pre-fill went on to convert at a 3x rate. So we know we got them to the benefit. 
So when it comes to the, our Beyond Tax strategy, it's about us going into the world of consumer finance and making the world of consumer finance more personal by leveraging our relationships, our data, and our capabilities that exist across the ecosystem. By doing that, along with the other strategies we talked about, we think we can make significant progress towards delivering against financial freedom for all our consumers. Now this puts us in, this is a way of summarizing it for us, but I did share all the aspects of our growth, everywhere from how do we extend our leading DIY, how do we transform the market, what does financial freedom mean in the context of consumer finance, what progress are we making? All those initiatives and all those strategies are pointed at where we think is a big addressable market to accelerate the growth of our business. And so as a consequence of that, as we think about our long-term growth drivers and we communicate, what do we think growth to happen for our business? Historically, we've shared a five to 10% long-term long growth range. We feel good about taking that long-term growth projection up to eight to 12%. We're feeling really good and very bullish about the direction we're headed in. And we have a lot of reasons to believe that we're on the right path. <laughs>